So the next topic what you are going to see is the storing values in the arrays and calculating the length of the array. Okay. So first let us see storing values in the arrays. So there are three methods in which we can store the values in the array. First method is initializing the elements during the declaration. Okay. The declaration itself you will be giving the initializing the values. Second one input values for the elements during the runtime. Okay during the runtime and third one assign values to the individual elements okay so what is meant by initializing the elements during declaration so you know that declaration here is an example right the marks is your uh, name of your array and uh, the data type of your array is your integer and 5 is your maximum size so what is the meaning of this you will be having the array of the name marks and size is 5 right so index will be 0 1 2 3 4 okay so along with this uh, declaration initialization means you are going to give the values so the values will be always inside your curly braces and separated by a comma so what is the meaning of this 90 means uh, uh, marks of 0 marks of 0 will be 90 marks of 1 will be initialized to 82 marks of 2 will be initialized to 78 95 88 etc okay so this is one method in which you can store the values in the array the second method is inputting the values for the elements during the runtime so from the keyboard when you enter the value you can store it onto your array so for that for this case either you are going for your for loop or while loop or your do while loop so you should use a looping statement here so this is just an example so you are declaring int i marks of 10 the array size is 10 for i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus because this index is from 0 to 9 right 0 to 9 scan of format specifier because it is an integer it is percentage d and you can enter for for each time for i is equal to 0 marks of it will be stored in marks of i so when i is equal to 1 it will be stored in marks of 1 so during the runtime you can store the data or the elements in the array and the third one is assigning values to individual elements so how can you assign the value for example marks of 1 you can give it as the value as 50 directly you can give the value similarly marks of 3 can be assigned directly the value for uh, as 80. So this is how for individually you are going to enter the uh, values, assigning the values. Okay. So but uh, some uh, there is an example where you can, this is, uh, this code is showing you an example where you can copy the elements of one array from the uh, another array. Okay. Even though if the array is of your same size and same type, you cannot copy the array directly. You have to copy each and every elements to the other array. So see for example here int i variable is declared a variable of an integer type. Then you have array 1 and array 2. Okay. So for i is equal to 0, i less than 10, i maximum size of both the array is 10. Now for when i is equal to 0, for the first element you are going to so there will be two arrays of the size this will be array 1 and this will be array 2 the length is how much maximum size is 10 so the index will be 0 to 9 here also it will be equal to 0 to 9 so 1 by 1 the element of array 1 will be assigned to array 2 for example when i is equal to 0 first see here array of i will be assigned to array 2 of i so 0th element will go to your 0th of your array 2 similarly when i is equal to 1 first array of array 1 of 1 will be assigned to array 2 of so one by one each element will be copied to the or will be assigned to the next array so these are the three different methods in which by which you can store the values in an array second one calculating the length of the array so how will you calculate the length of the array you know it directly right if the length if you know the index is 0 to 7 what will be your length it will be 8 if the index is 0 to 9 what will be your uh, length it will be 10 so you know it know to calculate it directly by formula also you can uh, find out so length is given by upper bound minus your lower bound plus 1 what is your upper bound it is your upper index right so uh, upper index if for example if upper index is 9 and lower index is the lower uh, sorry lower bound is nothing but your lower index right 9 minus 0 plus 1 so if you are it is from 0 to 9 is your index what will be your length plus 1 right 10 
So that is how you are going to calculate. So where upper bound is your index of the last element and lower bound is the index of your first element in the array. So the same example we are taking. So what will be what is your lower bound here? 0 and what is your upper bound here? 7. So what will be your length 8, right? 7 minus 0 plus 1. So this is how you can calculate the length of the array.